last uh, example that we're going to look at, again, following this method, we're going to look for what's the lowest common denominator for all of the denominators. I have an x over y, or an xy, x, and a y. So my lowest common denominator is xy. I'm going to use that to create a clever version of 1. That would be my clever version of 1. I'm going to take that version then and then distribute it as I multiply that through. xy times my first fraction in my numerator, xy times 1 over xy just produces a 1. Well, it produces an xy over an xy. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. And xy, sorry, change pins there, xy over an xy. My denominator then, I have an xy over an x plus an xy over a y. I can kind of simplify that out. I see that my numerator, xy over xy, uh, it's just a 1. My denominator, my x's cancel. My y's, well, they don't cancel, they factor. And I'm left with a y plus an x. And there's my simplified version. Again, we've shown you two basic techniques to solve these complex rational expressions. Feel free to get used to both of them and use whatever tool you, works for you best as you continue solving these problems and uh, as you understand these thoughts on your mathematical journey.